All right, let's see if we can do a quick little update, keep it just into a very short time. Uh, we've got the grips mounted on here now, not too bad. Um, separated clamshell, separated clamshell, and then you just slide this off the end. Um, you know, the one thing to watch out for, and it might be hard to explain, but there's this break here. Uh, what you want to do is you need to wedge something behind here to hold this break open. Because what that does, down inside of here, you can't see it too good, but there's a switch. And everybody's saying that that is something to not monkey with, that that is fragile, it'll shear off, it'll break. Just seeing all kinds of warnings. So if we pull this brake lever in, and then it opens up a gap in there, what people are saying to do, and what I did, is I stuffed a hunk of cardboard in there that kept this thing kind of perched open. And then I could easily handle this part of the this clamshell assembly, take it off, and then take this one off, and then change the grip out, reassemble it, and it worked great. Put it back together again, put the cardboard off, and the brake light works good. This is the passenger side. Had to use a razor blade to slice off the original one. Uh, the bike was new enough and the glue was not old enough to break it free, at least any way that I knew how. So I just sliced it with a razor blade and it peeled right back. Uh, I have a lighting harness that was installed. Harley-Davidson already had a bracket for it to put the module in there. It's just a matter of zip tying wires into place. It easily tied into the wires that were uh, the pigtails and everything that were already there. Um, so I just got to route these back towards the saddlebags because these are going to light up the rear of the saddlebag. But I'll zip tie them into place when I zip tie the O2 sensors into place for the new exhaust. Um, and speaking of the O2 sensors, you got this gray clip and then this pigtail right here, that pin connector, that one also, those are the O2 sensors. But we have to remember we got a gray one and a black one. The black goes to the back cylinder. Um, so I just make sure I put that O2 sensor into that part of the exhaust when I put the new one on, which would be the next thing that I do. Uh, the exhaust came off really easy. I took the filter off of the air intake just to make room, uh, loosened up the bolts from the jugs and disconnected, you know, a mounting bracket here and a, and a, and a mounting bracket there. Um, I did have to remove the floorboard. The floorboard had to come off. Um, right here, there's going to be a spacer behind this part of the floorboard anyways when it goes back together to create room for the new exhaust. A little larger, I suppose. Um, and then there's another bolt back here. Here again, all this stuff is very easy. This transmission bracket, I believe, is going to have to change. And then we just put the new exhaust on, set it into place, um, you know, torque it down as specified, and then retighten after a few hundred miles. The exhaust, here's the old stuff. I don't know, there's, it, it came off easy enough. I'll polish this up and store it, and um, you'll always have it. And then you can see here's that sliced grip that I took off there. Um, let's see, and then these things, they work like you, uh, you got this flange, you put this, there's a, there's a recess right here that, put that on there. And then you got a spring clip, it's like what they call a sir clip. And then that you have to force over here. And you know you might want to you know, watch your eyes so it doesn't shoot up and get you in the eyes uh, when you're, if you if it slips from your hand. And that locks in underneath this formed flange. It's a tapered formed flange, cone shape. And then this would stop right there, and that's how you tighten the exhaust up against the gasket. Here's the old gasket. And what I did, I bought new Harley gaskets, and they are comb shaped too. And if you look, they fit nicely right onto here. Now, the new exhaust. I bought the new Harley gasket because I just didn't want to be without options. They're only a few bucks. Um, but they don't do it for this particular, <laughs> they just won't do it. You could probably use them, but there's no sense crushing them down that far. Uh, these pipes, these pipes came with their own gaskets, and I'm going to use those. Um, so then I'll get going on that and get you updated from there. All right, we fast forwarded here a little bit. Uh, quick catch up here is that the new exhaust is now installed. You still see my handprints all over it. Um, it's not quite completely done yet. What they do is that you lay your uh, your header pipe out on your workbench, and there are 
uh, five heat shields they want you to add loosely while it's on your bench. And it's uh, it's the main header coming out of the front jug, the rear jug, the uh, the crossover piece, and then where it divides up again to each side of the uh, tailpipes there. Um, those are all held on with multiple band clamps. Pretty, it's it's a little time consuming, but you know you just lay a blanket out on your workbench and uh, um, take the packaging material off of these things. They're packaged nice, and uh, you slip the band clamps over them, uh, the pipes, and and then. You know the hardest part is just trying to get the uh, flange nuts on the uh, where the where the where the header bolts up to the jug. You know, just get those things started. Um, you know, it's just not much room for. You know, probably most of us who work on these things have pretty big hands, I suppose. Um, but yeah, once you get them going, and then there's a little bit of that. You know, that that there's a there's a bottom bracket down here. He's a little tricky too, but you know you you get them in place and then you cinch them up together, torque down the flanges, and you know, bring them in together to compress equally. And so this whole pipe is just tight to the motor and transmission assembly now. Um, now I've got this muffler just slipped into place. Uh, he's ready to be tightened down. And then the crossover, I gotta get him tightened, the crossover here, I gotta get him tightened down. And then the muffler on the other side aligned, get those tightened down. And then we're just uh, then we're just here to go ahead and route the uh, the O2 sensors back to their their home destination. There, these clips keep them in a safe way. Um, we'll get back after a little, a little more progress. So everything is uh, installed, and I got all the finger marks and everything polished off of the pipes. Um, they're all tightened up. Everything's adjusted, aligned, went pretty good. Floorboard's back on again. And uh, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to zip tie these wires into place for the saddlebag lights. And then I'll put everything back together again. And we'll uh, do a quick shot of what that looks like. So we have everything put back together again. And uh, just dusted her off from all the work being done to it. Um, now just a quick review, what we did is we put on new grips, installed a new air breather, installed new uh, tuned exhaust, and put in a fuel management system, an FP3 fuel pack uh, by Vance and Hines. And then also I put in new tail lights. And I guess that's what it covers it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're going to turn the lights on and turn the flashers on and we get an idea of how bright these things are and how well they, you know, they look. yeah, those are pretty nice. Um, those saddlebag lights are the new mounts. Those are really cool. Can't be too safe when you're sharing the road with so many people that don't understand the motorcycle thing. Um, yeah, so that looked out really nice. And she shines up. So let's kind of do a quick start up and uh, see what this girl sounds like. I say that's pretty nice. Definitely like that. Well, there you have it. It's exactly one week after I started, and uh, you know, just a little work on it in the evenings. I, I don't know how many hours I had into it, but um, nice little project. So she's ready for the spring. It's actually like 55 degrees out today. I might be able to go for a ride. <laughs> 